we're going to examine three solvents and what will dissolve in those solvents. The three solvents are water, methanol, and cyclohexane. You can see that it's a ring with six carbons and 12 hydrogens. Some of the hydrogens are hidden behind the molecule. You can also see, although the water doesn't show it, that hydrogen bonding can occur with this hydrogen to the next water molecule. This diagram shows the methanol having hydrogen bonding between this hydrogen and the oxygen of the next alcohol, the next molecule. And of course, since there's no electronegative atom in cyclohexane, either oxygen or nitrogen or fluorine, there would be no hydrogen bonding involved here. We next look at the polarity, and polarity is actually measured by dipole moment in the unit, the Debye. For water, it's 1.77 Debye. In methanol, it's 1.71 Debye. In cyclohexane, it's unsurprisingly zero Debye. What will dissolve in these solvents? Water is an extremely polar molecule. Methanol is a somewhat polar molecule, not quite as polar as water is. Cyclohexane, you can see, is completely symmetrical and has no polarity. It's a completely nonpolar molecule. Now, polar molecules as solvents, they attract molecule to a molecule very, very well. And so, it's really hard for a nonpolar molecule to get in between these molecules that have attraction for each other. Cyclohexane molecules have only minimal attraction for each other. You can see there's no polarity, so there's really nothing to keep one next to the next, except what we call instantaneous dipoles, and those are very, very small. Therefore, water will dissolve ionic, and polar substances. The ionic substances will be attracted. The plus will be attracted to the negative end, the oxygen end, and the negative ion will be attracted to the positive or hydrogen end of the water molecule. Methanol is somewhat polar. It will not dissolve ionic substances, but it will be a very good dissolving agent for polar substances like other alcohols or anything that has some polarity to it. And if, as you can imagine, water and alcohols like methanol will mix very, very well because we've got polar to polar and like dissolves like. On the other hand, benzene is not going to get in between these molecules here because there's no particular attraction for any end of the benzene or in this case cyclohexane, for these molecules. Is they're just not going to let the nonpolar molecules like benzene and cyclohexane in. Same thing with water. Even more so, it's, it's so polar. However, nonpolar molecules can get into between the cyclohexane or the benzene molecules because there's nothing particularly to keep them locked out. So that gives you an idea why cyclohexane and other nonpolar solvents will dissolve nonpolar substances like gasoline, like naphthalene, anything that doesn't have a positive and negative end will dissolve in a nonpolar molecule.